there is a speculation that week two of the Raikou event will not reset Snorlax's strength. Or maybe there's some sort of boost that would cause Snorlax to continue its strength or at least start at a higher strength from where you left off at week one. And there's more than a few pieces of evidence to support this now. In fact, it may be related to the bug that I posted about yesterday, which affected players who hadn't entered the event yet when parts of the world did. In fact, it didn't affect players who time traveled to start the event early. And the idea was to give them a boost earlier on for the day one of the event. But what that actually did was prevent themselves from having this bug. And it's actually making sense why this is happening. And it's probably to do with the fact that there's a different coding between the event and a regular week. And while I posted about a potential fix and that was for players to actually time travel to fix this issue, some players didn't do this fix and when they woke up, they found themselves with sneaky snacking on the Monday. And that doesn't usually happen. Sunday night sneaky snacking does not usually cross over to Monday. That's actually never happened before until this event. So there's three strong pieces of evidence to suggest that the week two of the Raikou event does not reset the Snorlax strength. This one is actually one of them. If I were a developer and I want week one's Snorlax strength to not reset, it would harm the players if the sneaky snacking on Sunday night didn't apply to the Snorlax at the start of the second week. So if I were a developer, I would code it so that the sneaky snacking get brought over and then added to the end of the first week Snorlax strength. In short, so that Snorlax's strength does not reset between the first Raikou event week and the second. But imagine this. If this coding were applied to the first week, which it should have for players to, that have entered the event, but the developers didn't account for the players who were still stuck in before the Raikou event started and actually applied some of the event coding to those players as well, what that eventually led to was people who were starting the new week had actually got the sneaky snacking carried over from the Sunday before. And this one is an example from Shadow Knight that that happened, which meant several things. Number one, you may not want to use your easy travel ticket if you got a huge amount of sneaky snacking from the Sunday before. Of course, that needs to be balanced with, well, what berries, what favorite berries you got. Otherwise, the rest of your week can be very weak if you don't have a good set of favorite berries. But this was intended for week two. And I have to thank three people for leading me down this rabbit hole. Number one was Angel of Death first pointing out that there may be a desync between the event on the server and the local data, which is why it didn't affect people who have actually time traveled forwards in order to trigger the event, which may be useful to know for future references if we have future events. Hopefully, the bug will no longer happen in future events though. The second is it's Tobias who pointed me in the direction to find this post from Call Me Deeps, who's the server owner of the Pokemon Sleep Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below, which showed the data mine of the event text from the end of week one and the start of week two. And it seems like the start of week two, Neroli is gonna tell us that Snorlax looks bigger than usual. In other words, potentially carrying over the Snorlax strength from week one. And perhaps the third most compelling evidence is that based on the event missions via the data mine, is that week two of the event has mission requirements that are higher, a lot higher than that of week one. If you look at week one, the mission requirements are basic two, ultra one, ultra four. Then week two follows with Ultra 5, Master 2, and then Master 5, which seems like quite a lot higher if Snorlax strength were to reset. 
And I think that's enough evidence to suggest that there's some sort of boost for week 2, probably the Snorlax strength not resetting, and then having the sneaky snacking coded to be brought over to week 2 from week 1's final sleep. And what that means for you is, it's even more important that you power up Snorlax on the first week because all that strength may get carried over to week 2. And what I mean is, use your good cam ticket on week 1. Some people have asked me whether to use it for week 1 or week 2. I've always suggested that you use it week 1, but this is even more reason you should use it from week 1 so that all the effects get carried on, roll over to the second week. Good luck with the Raikou event guys, if you have any questions let me know in the comments section down below.